Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We have an email in here from uh, Mubashir. Hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he's writing in and he says, Hello, Matt, sir. My name is Mubashir. I am currently owning a D3100 and thinking of upgrading to a D7000. So a Nikon D3100 wants to upgrade to a D7000. Is the D7000 a good choice? I do photography just as a hobby, but mostly portraits. I'm on a very tight budget and cannot even spend even $50 extra. What do you think about the D7000? Waiting for your answer, yours truly. Well, the D7000 was a great camera in its day. It's still not bad, but uh, it's 16 megapixels. You go to a 7100 now, you are up to 24 megapixels. Better, more refined autofocus system, uh, better video options. Almost everything is better on the 7100 than on the 7000. If you can't afford anything but the 7000, in other words, if you can get a really, really low price on the 7000, it's still a decent camera. I would not really have a problem with you shooting with it. I guess where I'm going with my answer here is that if you can afford a used or a refurbed 7100, and there are some really, really good deals on there right now out there, uh, to buy a 7100, I would try and go that route. I think the 7100 is enough of a better camera that it is worth squeezing the extra budget for it, uh, waiting to find a better deal, or just waiting until you have a little bit more cash perhaps. Um, because I think the 7000 is, again, it's it's a decent camera. I wouldn't have a problem with you shooting with it. I shot a pair of them for weddings for a while. Liked the camera, but it's getting old. And now, like the 7100, much better choice. The 7100 is essentially, and I've said this before, many of your regular viewers will have heard this, is essentially the same camera as the 7200. Just the 7200 has a little bit deeper shot buffer, which allowed it to shoot, you know, faster action, more frames per second without uh, running out of, like, locking the camera up so it could write to the card and things like that. Um, that's essentially the only difference. So the 7100 has become a very, very good value right now. And I would, I would try, if at all possible, go with the 7100. If you can't, the 7000 is still a very capable camera, but I would really try to get the 7100 if at all possible, if you can make that work for your budget. Throw back to our viewers, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me, or do you think you could still very nicely shoot with the 7000? Let me know in the comments below. I really think you should go with the 71, but I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Let's help out our viewer. Uh, thanks for your question, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.